You ever listening to music and one of your earbuds stops functioning? I wear earphones at work to help me focus, but about a month ago, one of the earbuds began shorting out, and things kind of sounded like this. Make the most of our capex. Interoperability and maximize our resource leveraging. You can see a lot of value add to the year of the 2016. After a few weeks of this, I was ready to find a solution. So, please join me on my nerdy journey to solve this problem. Earphones usually go bad in a few key spots where the wires bend a lot. One spot is right next to the earbuds. If they don't have a good strain relief to take away some of the stress, they'll eventually fail here. Another spot is where the two earbud cables join to the single cable. Probably the most common spot is the 3.5 millimeter jack. The strain relief on these things usually isn't very good, so the wires will eventually break and you'll get a short next to the plug. If your earbuds are 20 bucks and they go bad, I'd probably just trash them and get some new ones, but if you spent a little more on in-ear monitors, then you'll probably want to find a way to fix them. Over time, the wires inside of the cables can get all twisted up. When this happens, the cable will have a wavy pattern in it, or it won't lie flat. This puts the wires under a lot of stress, and eventually they'll break like mine did. I figured someone has to sell replacement wires, so I went on Amazon and found these, but they're 30 bucks, and apparently they're not made very well. So I googled it, and I found this link, which led me to this thread, which led me to this link, which led me to Megami Cables, which led me to MarkerTech so I could purchase them by the foot. Headphones only have three wires or conductors in them, one for the left channel, one for the right, and one for ground. So the left and right earbuds need two wires for their channel and ground, while the main cable needs at least three wires. So I ordered two conductor cable for the earbuds and four conductor cable for the main line, even though I only needed three conductors because MarkerTech didn't sell three conductor cable by the foot. The four conductor cable was too thick and heavy for earbuds, so I called MarkerTech and they were nice enough to track down some three conductor cable in their custom shop and sell it to me by the foot. All in all, if you bought six feet of one and three feet of the other, you'd only be out $3.78. So, the plan's pretty simple. Left goes to left, right goes to right, and the grounds join together. Normally, you'd cut off this excess copper shielding, but I'll show you why we're saving it for later. You strip the jackets off the wires, then you tin the earbud wires with solder, and you tin the main cable too. Now we're ready to join them together. But headphones get yanked on, so the joint has to be strong, or they'll just tear apart the moment you put any stress on them. For this, we turn to our friends at NASA. They show us the proper way to do what's called a lineman splice. With a lineman splice, you wrap the wires around themselves for strength. When you do it properly, the joint is stronger than the wire itself. So, I did this with all the wires, then I wrapped them in Teflon tape to insulate them, then I did another lineman splice with the copper shielding we've been saving. But I made this one tighter than the splices I did on the wires. This way, when the cable gets tugged on, it'll put stress on the shielding rather than the wires carrying the audio signal, which should help the cable last longer. To seal it up, I put heat shrink tubing over it. Like a dum dum, I waited to test for shorts until after putting the Teflon and heat shrink on, so later I ended up tearing up all the work I did and redoing it. But I got it sorted out. So after redoing that, I had to put on a headphone connector. To do this, we need to solder the left, right, and ground on. So I decided to solder it on the wrong way, but I couldn't close up the jack that way. And then I was like, hey, what if I soldered it on the right way? And amazingly, doing the right way worked. I then cracked open the earbuds. For strain relief, the original cable had a knot in it. That way, when your earbuds get pulled out of your ears, the knot takes the stress rather than the wires connected to the earbud circuitry, which would just tear off. So I did the same thing with the new cable. I used soldering braid to kind of weld the earbuds shut again. It's ugly, but it works. Finally, I put 100% silicone around the cables to prevent the wires from bending too sharply next to the earbuds. It's kind of hard to see in this light, so here it is a little bit darker. After the silicone cured overnight, I used a razor blade to shape the silicone down to something a little more reasonable. And that's it! If you have the right equipment, you can do the whole fix for under 10 bucks. They don't look too fancy, but they sound great. Thanks for watching!